Hello, my name is Andrew Keeping, and in this video, we're going to be focusing on using the new left hand technique that we've covered in our previous video. We're going to be using some new exercises to help reinforce that technique, to help obtain that clear tone, that precise left hand finger placement on the fretboard, the economy of effort, and establish the foundations of this solid left hand technique. So come and join us, dive in, and see how we go with these new exercises. Okay, so if you haven't already observed and watched the videos that we've used in this series of tutorials on the left hand technique and the posture, now please go back and cover those, subscribe and watch those videos because it gives you all the basic techniques you need to be able to start using these exercises to help reinforce those techniques. This gives you a full understanding of what we're trying to cover here in our guitar playing. So let's use the technique that we've just been implementing and we're going to bring our thumb into place in the fifth position of the guitar. That means first finger is going to be located on the fifth fret. Now I'm avoiding the first fret because the frets are that much wider up here. And so I want the hands to feel comfortable, not strained or stressed, particularly if we're just trying to reinforce a good technique at this point. So let's place in the narrower region of the guitar, let's position our first finger on the fifth fret. Make a point of observing the thumb is halfway down the back of the neck. There's a nice arch from the thumb through to the finger. We are not allowing any part of the palm to touch the neck of the guitar. Now, Let's separate that first and second joint so that look what happens, the spacing that is created by that separation. All the other fingers just naturally fall into place. The thumb now is located behind the second and the third fingers. Equal distance of force, equal distribution of support to each finger. And then we're going to place the second finger down and the third and the fourth. This is going to be our first exercise. We're going to keep the first finger in contact at all times. So, with me, play the first finger. Separate the joint. Have all the fingers hovering over the frets in the location they need to be. Now place the second finger down, keeping the first in place. Then the third. Locate them close to the frets. Not on the frets, but close to the frets. And then the fourth. All the fingers are still held down. You might feel a bit of strain in the under part of the hand here. That's perfectly normal. You're asking your hand to do things it's not used to doing. We've just gone up one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna come back, but as we lift off, each finger that lifts off, don't lift it off far. Lift it off just enough to clear the string. Third finger off, second finger off, and we're back to the first. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, lift off, three, just a fraction, two, one. That's our first exercise. Simple, I know, but actually, take it slowly. Pay attention to the detail. The detail will give you the security in the hand. So, I'm gonna do that one more time. One, two, three, Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to try mixing up this combination. Relax the hand, give it a bit of a stretch, give it a shake out, and then let's put it back. What this is doing, it's making you consciously think of the position of your hand every time you play. Don't take shortcuts. Follow the guidelines here. Fruitless time 
wasting could be avoided here. So just focus on what you're doing. And we're going to do everything at the same time. Don't think to yourself, I'm just going to think of one thing at a time. I'm only going to focus on this. It's like driving a car. You don't say to yourself, oh, I'm just going to concentrate on the pedals today. You've got to do everything at the same time as effectively as possible. So let's do that now. Thumb behind the neck. I've got the location again. And we're going to this time go one to four to three to two and then to one. I'm doubling up the fingers in the right hand. Then we're going to do one, three, two, one. And then we're going to do one, two, one. I want you to create your own exercise, it says. So mix up the fingering. But all the time we lift the fingers off, notice the fingers are hovering over the frets. Avoid the temptation to, as you come back to your first finger, to do that, where they all clump together and you've lost your position, the hands are out of shape. You need the palm of the hand to be parallel to the neck of the guitar, separating that first and second joint. Don't be tempted to support the fingers, the first finger. The first finger is the strongest finger, it can cope on its own. But what you're doing, you're training the hand, you're training the muscles and the techniques. This exercise, we use this, and I can show you. Look how the hand stays in the position. Etc. This is how we use it. Flamenco techniques. Everything about the hand needs to be located, needs to be in place. So these simple starting techniques, you could be a beginner, you can have experience in playing the guitar, but just take the time to focus on those techniques. There are so many other left hand techniques we will be covering in the future, involving slurs like hammer-ons and pull-offs, slides, hammer-on and pull-off all in one, and we're going to be covering so many other left hand methods. But this is our first technique. This is the first exercise that I want you to take the time over. Next, we've done it in fifth position. You could try it in seventh position where it's even narrower if you find that you're still having to stretch the hand. But gradually what we want to do is increase, as you feel more comfortable with this, gradually move the hand back down the guitar towards the nut here and the machine heads. So, I'm going to move back now, still maintaining the finger position closer to the frets. Now this is just on the first string that we've been doing this, but now You've used that exercise in fifth and seventh position. You've come all the way back to first position. Let's try this now in fifth position across all strings. Mix up the patterns. Do it on the second string. you can see that the hand slowly pushes down. The thumb stays in the location. If anything, it moves slightly down towards the base here, not completely under. You need to keep it just under halfway down the back of the neck. And you rotate the hand across to the six strings. You shouldn't have to be lowering the shoulder and reaching across. If you see guitarists going like that, they're exaggerating. <laughs> it should all look effortless. So we move across the guitar like that, 
up and down from first string up to sixth and back again. And again, as before, you're creating your own exercises, the things that work for you. You're looking at the technique and focusing on it. This is the way that you implement the strong, secure technique in your left hand. So you gradually move the hand up and down on each fret, moving towards the wider frets at the end of the guitar. That should keep you busy. Focus on the detail. That will ensure you end up with the most secure left hand technique with a perfect tone, with economy of effort, and with a security that you know that you can play any one of those notes. Give yourself five, 10 minutes a day just focusing on that. If you want to do more than that, then great. We can now move on to our next video, which is going to be focusing on the technique of the right hand. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Well, there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing the button below, also the button on the side with the bell, that will inform you when I upload new videos to the tutorials, reviews, um, interesting facts and interviews as well. So, and if you've liked the videos and you found them useful, I'm really glad of that. So please press on the like button below as well. And as a community, we are here together to be able to get the most out of this. So post your comments below. Any questions you have, I generally try and get back to you as soon as I can. So please do ask your questions, ask other people questions, put your comments below because we're all here to help each other on our journey in playing the guitar. See you next time.